Several months ago, I didn't even know what a Platinum Trophy was. At the time, I was just your typical Call of Duty content creator playing a game I hated every single day for literally years at a time because Call of Duty is a plague, a disease that preys on the mentally unwell. But one day, I finally had enough. I was tired of not having fun. I started to research how to have fun playing video games. What are some of the most fun games out there? Will I ever feel that feeling I used to get when I was a kid playing a game I really, really loved? I researched for days. I made tier lists, rankings, read articles on the best games of all time. Also, I could just finally escape the clutches of Call of Duty with their Attack on Titan anime skins and finally get hooked on a game that brings me joy. After about a week of extensive research and preparation, I finally found it. The game that I would love and enjoy so much that I would spend the next 120 hours of my life getting the Platinum Trophy for. My first Platinum Trophy. That game was Assassin's Creed Valhalla. What the fuck is wrong with me? Ubisoft has spent the last several years making Assassin's Creed games that really don't even want to be Assassin's Creed games. First, we were a Spartan, then a freaking Viking. I mean, those are like the opposite of Assassin's. But when I heard that Assassin's Creed Mirage was going to go back to the roots of Assassin's Creed with a major focus on stealth gameplay, well, that tickled my pickle. Why did I write that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next installment to the Rob Cinematic Universe, RCU as I like to call it. The Assassin's Creed Mirage Platinum Trophy, also known as Spider-Man 2 Waiting Room. But before we get started, I have a proposition for you. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will unlock every Assassin's Creed trophy ever. Platinum every game, do every DLC, all of it. I will regret this later. <laughs> Our story begins when I kick up my first stream of the playthrough and have a tough decision to make. All right, so chat, this is my dilemma. Do I want to do this on hard? Because we've been doing so many hard games lately, I was gonna chill and do this on normal, but I can't because I'm just not built like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not built like that, bro. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to do it. I have to. But before we get into the beautiful world of Assassin's Creed Mirage, I experienced the worst thing that could possibly happen to a financially unstable content creator. My internet went out. Well, internet is completely chalked. So it looks like we're doing this playthrough offline. No streaming. Oh, it's such a buzzkill, man. I hate you, Mediacom. I love doing these playthroughs live, man. That's such a buzzkill, but... We'll make the most of it. The story begins when we are introduced to Basm, just your everyday street thief. But if you played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you know he's more than that. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. Shortly after being introduced to Basm, we meet Roshan, a veteran member of the Hidden Ones. Side note, listening to her speak actually causes me physical pain. It looks as though it was delivered this morning. Get her some cough syrup, bro. She sounds like Doc Rivers. Basim makes it known to Rashan that he wants to be a member of the Hidden Ones, a request that she immediately rejects. In an attempt to prove himself, Basim sneaks into the Caliph's palace with his friend Nihal to steal a chest that is wanted by both the Hidden Ones and the Order of the Ancients. And while sneaking around the palace in classic Assassin's Creed fashion, I had a realization. I have done more stealth in the past two minutes than I did in a hundred hours of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Once we get our hands on the chest, we discover that inside was a disc-shaped artifact that is obviously of Isu descent, and that's why both the Hidden Ones and the Order want it. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue what's going on in these games anymore. Basim and Nihau are then caught by the Khalifa himself, and it did not end well. <laughs> hmm. Well, this isn't ideal. So now with the Khalifa dead, Basim is a wanted man. And once we fled the palace, we unlocked our first trophy. Hey, we got the Master Thief of Anbar. Complete the prologue. Wow, that might have been the shortest Assassin's Creed prologue I've ever played in my life. From here, Rashan meets with Basim, now convinced that he has what it takes to be a hidden one. She takes him to the Hidden One's Fortress in the mountains, where Basim begins his training to become one of the master assassins we all know and love. Here he spends years learning all the ropes of the Hidden Ones, like parkour. I love that. Dude, I love this parkour. This is the best parkour we've had in Assassin's Creed game in a hot minute. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not like unity caliber or anything, but I mean, I'm impressed. I, I, I'm pretty satisfied with this. And we got our first taste of the combat. Good parry. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what happened there. All right. Do not give up. Remember your training. Okay. Strange feeling combat, that's for sure. But most importantly, we grew a sick beard. Basim soon completes his training, and before we know it, it's time to officially become a member of the Hidden Ones. And we all know what has to be done for that to happen. Oh man, it's gonna make me do it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a deal breaker for me. I would never be able to be in the Brotherhood. That's icky. Oh, we got one. Uh, let's, uh... Um, all right, so let's play a little game. Let's play, can Rob pronounce this? Lashea Waka'un Mutlak. Lashea Waka'un Mutlak. I mean, I think that was right on the nose. The Hidden Ones soon learn that the order is growing rapidly in Baghdad. So Basim, Rashan, and others head to the city to investigate. But first, we have to do the most important thing there is to do when it comes to Assassin's Creed. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and sync all the viewpoints across the entire map. This is going to save us a lot of time. We're going to be able to fast travel pretty much everywhere instead of walking. Pretty sure this is going to take me a couple hours or so, and it'll give me a chance to kind of explore and see the whole map, so... Let's do it. After doing our first viewpoint, we got to experience the beautiful world of Baghdad in its entirety. God, this is pretty. <laughs> Monastery of the Virgins. It's right where I belong, huh? After climbing up to the top of a tower to do one of our viewpoints, we ran into a kid that was also trying to do a leap of faith. Basim soon talks him out of it, and then, of course, shows him the proper way to do it. Never gets old, man. It never gets old. You see? I am unharmed. Now you go. Bro, like, you what? Know? That's so irresponsible. <laughs> Bro, why would you ask him to do this? Oh, yeah. He's uh, he's definitely going to the gulag. Oh, nope. Never mind. Hey, we got a trophy for that. Crossing pass. Complete a tale from Baghdad. Fun fact, that kid was actually supposed to be Hytham from Valhalla. Pretty cool little Easter egg that I actually missed my first time around. After several more viewpoints, we ended up at the last one we needed for the trophy. All right, here we are like literally two hours later, and we are on our last viewpoint here. And I gotta say, I am very, very impressed with what I've seen so far from the map. Like, look at that, bro. I know they say this is basically just AC Valhalla, but I don't remember Valhalla looking this good. But, I mean, just look at that, bro. My God. Trophy. All 21 viewpoints. Fearless. There it is. Synchronize all viewpoints. That is going to make the rest of the story and the collectibles go by very, very quickly. It's already really short as is, but the easier the better. After further investigation in Baghdad, Basim learns of five order members in positions of power under the Khalifa. And our main task throughout the game is to find and assassinate all five members, including the head of the order. I learned pretty quickly that they were not kidding when they said we were going back to the roots of Assassin's Creed. And it truly is all about stealth again. What? <sighs> oh, what was that for? Surprise. Assassinate 10 guards from hiding spots. Oh, okay. I'm just over here doing my thing, bro. Ooh, I got another trophy. A true hidden one. Assassinate 10 guards in a row without triggering open conflict. Not gonna lie, I was a little worried about doing this on hard mode, but uh, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty, pretty stealthy. Soon we came to our first of five order members we needed to take out. And I guess you could say Basim is still getting the hang of the whole stealth thing. Bang! <laughs> Literally everybody saw that, Basim. Trophy? Gotta be a trophy. If that I knew it. Indeed me the blood of a ghoul. Eliminate Al Ghoul. He wasn't no race. Batman fans would. Un okay. After unlocking a couple more random trophies and taking out our second order member, we continued on our journey to becoming the best assassin in Baghdad. I think I actually get a trophy for adding dye to this, making it a different color. 
Yeah, you do. You do. Fashion statement. Apply dye to an outfit. I'm gonna actually get a trophy right here for knocking this dude's horn off his hip with a throwing knife. I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna do this. All right. I'm gonna have to have pinpoint accuracy, guys. We ready for this? The aim assist might kind of screw me up a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. That didn't work out. Okay. Maybe I need to get up on him. You'll be back. I got it. I got it. Destroy a horn bear's horn with a throwing knife. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. This didn't. Okay. Hey, sleep tight. I was going for that one too. That's for putting 10 guards to sleep with blow darts. Headhunter. That was for the headshots, I believe. Headshot 20 guards with throwing knives. And I need to start using the throwing knives more because I'm pretty sure you have to kill 100 guards with them. And uh, I never use them, so. Hey, ambush. Have 10 guards trigger traps. All right, now I gotta do this. No, 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 no. While attempting to take out one of the order members' top generals, we ran into a little roadblock. You see this guy? This is called a Shakira, and not the good kind. They show up when your notoriety bar gets full, and in this particular stealth encounter, I was having a little bit of trouble. Dude, I, this is, why is this so ridiculous, man? And it starts you all the way over. I'm gonna have to start all the way over from the very beginning. Dude, I'm going to cry. I No. I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break. I gotta go. Um, I'm going to the gym. When I returned, I decided to give the Shakira another shot, and it did not go very well. However, on the bright side, I did unlock a trophy for having max notoriety for 10 minutes. And this actually reminded me to go ahead and knock out another trophy I forgot about. What I can do is go ahead and tear these posters down though. Poor There's gonna be a trophy for going from max notoriety to none by tearing down posters. Yeah, after I tear down this one, that should be it. Best I stay hidden. Yep. Poster boy and maximum notoriety become anonymous by tearing down wanted posters. Dope, dope, dope. We then continued on our journey, unlocking a few miscellaneous trophies along the way until eventually it came time to eliminate our third order member. That was glamorous. The blood of a spy master. Eliminate uh, that 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 bad guy, yeah. From there, I ended up unlocking a few more easy trophies, like one for upgrading my sword all the way, all right. one for opening a token chest, one for pickpocketing 50 people, and a few others. But none of that even matters, because I ended up coming across the best part of the game yet. Oh, bro. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm never taking this off. This is all I'm wearing for the rest of the game now. Oh, dude, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Before starting my playthrough, I watched a few reviews on AC Mirage from some pretty credible YouTubers, such as Luke Stevens. I'll link his channel in the description. Pretty cool guy. And he actually talked about one of his biggest issues being how dumb the AI is in this game. And up to this point, I hadn't really run into that. But, uh... I really started to understand what he meant. You're free. Thank you. Get to the docks. Find Beshi. Are we serious? They, he just literally ran away right in front. Dude, like what? Bye. Hey. thought that strange book would get their great work functioning. Oh, there's no way. Good thing Hunain could. There's no way. Oh, they're so dumb. What's going on? Ah. 
<laughs> it's so dumb. But regardless, in due time, we found ourselves on the hunt for our fourth order member. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? Justice. I love Assassin's Creed, man, but the storytelling can be very, uh, well, it seems like AI wrote it at times. Hey, the blood of a demon. I think that was actually the last order member. Now we just have the head bad guy, dude. Like all Assassin's Creed's have. And it'll probably be a blatantly obvious plot twist if I had to guess. Very well. There it is, thick skin. Fully upgrade an outfit. But hold up. Look at this drip right here, bro. Master assassin, bro, that is... Oof. Well, they went all out on the costumes. Altair is cool too, but this one's way cooler. I can't cap. And with the fourth member eliminated, it's time to go after the head of the order. But first, we unlocked a trophy that showed signs that this was the beginning of the end of this platinum journey. Serving the light, reach the maximum hidden one rank. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna go any more into depth on the ending to avoid spoilers, but all I'll say is this. The story as a whole was painfully average, but that ending is pretty fire. Until that day, a new world awaits. Ooh, let's see, Bal Kulin Mumkin. I don't know, man. Discover Basm's past. God, dude, I'm gonna be honest. Like that story as a whole, it was really slow and definitely wasn't like up there with some of my favorite Assassin's Creed stories. But that ending was actually fire. The way it tied into Valhalla, that that was that was pretty dope. I can't lie, that was pretty dope. But yeah, time for collectibles. Why would I do this to myself? Phase two collectibles and cleanup the primary goal of phase two is to mainly go after the collectibles and side activities which will include gear chest lost books enigmas artifacts historical sites mysterious shards and tales of baghdad plus any miscellaneous trophies i unlock along the way this was probably the easiest collectible experience i've ever done pretty sure it took me like three hours before i knew it i was at the end which rewarded me with not only a few trophies but the coolest outfit in the entire game Bro, what? Nah, that's absolutely disgusting. I am keeping that. Goodbye, Etia. Oh my God, bro. It's like freaking destiny or something. All right, blow up this wall real quick. And then we're gonna get our last chest. And then we should get the Explorer Trophy, which is like the big grind, the main trophy you get for doing the collectible grind. So, Explorer. Here we go. Fully explore all territories. Not gonna lie, that was really easy. But I'm not complaining. I'm not gonna complain at all. I think we've done enough hard games lately. Okay, so I just got a trophy for returning all of those artifacts we were pickpocketing to this guy, Dervis. But I realized I wasn't recording, so sorry. But just to prove it, he gave us this treasure hunter outfit as a reward. I'm not gonna lie, that's ass, bro. So we're gonna return all these books to this dude. I am recording this time. Yep, 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 yep. I get it. I understand. I understand. Do you have something for me? Wonderful. Yes, scholar. Bring all seven lost books to El Jahis. You would think after doing YouTube for a couple years, you would uh, remember to do the most important thing when it comes to making content, and that is pressing record but even i forget that sometimes all right we're gonna pick up this treasure right here and we should get a trophy thank god we didn't have to do all of these you just have to do one there it is riddle me this obtain a treasure by solving an enigma and that will conclude all collectible related trophies which leads us to the final phase of this platinum cleanup it's really just a bunch of miscellaneous trophies a lot of them are combat and stealth related so should be a lot of fun the last somewhat grindy trophy i had left was tools of the trade which was for upgrading all of your tools to upgrade your tools you need components metal and leather and when i went to do the upgrades i ran into a problem 
don't have enough components. All right, that is what I was afraid of. We're gonna have to find traders throughout Baghdad and buy more components. What an L. But there's an issue with this method. All the traders throughout Baghdad have shared inventories. So once you buy all the components from one trader, the rest of the traders run out of components as well. They eventually replenish, but it takes a while. And had I known this beforehand, I would have sporadically bought components throughout my playthrough. But you know, I'm not the brightest trophy hunter around. So that left us with only one option, faction missions. My least favorite part of the game, I'm not gonna lie. Faction missions are basically little assassin contracts where you'll have to go take out a target or steal some intel, stuff like that. So I started knocking out the faction stuff, unlocking a couple of miscellaneous trophies in the process. Patron of the arts. Pay musicians five times. Hey, patron of cell swords. Pay mercenaries five times. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to do more faction missions, which is actually cool because I need to do them anyway for a trophy. I have to do 10 and I've done six so far. So let's knock out some more of those and we should be able to level up all of our tools. So that's exactly what I did. And let's just say playing on the hardest difficulty was not helping me out any. Oh my God, why did I do that? After doing the last four missions I needed for the Defender of the People trophy, we ran into another problem. I think that might've been it. It should be. Hold on. Complete 10 faction contracts. I just did that. That was 10, bro. Dude, I don't... I don't understand. Oh, dude, don't do this to me now. With the trophy not popping, I feared the worst, so I restarted my game. I was worried that I just wasted 20 hours of playtime and that I would have to start all over, which would interfere with Spider-Man 2, and that makes it even worse. But when I loaded back in, the strangest thing happened. Defender of the people, complete 10 faction contracts. Yeah, it definitely glitched out on me, 100%. I restarted my game and it just popped. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That That's scary. Ubisoft, why do you hurt me? With that trophy thankfully out of the way, we unfortunately still didn't have enough components to upgrade all of our tools. So we had to do a couple more. And by the last one, I was kind of over it. I don't even care anymore, bro. I'm, I'm pulling an Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I do not care. <laughs> Come on. I got it. I got it. I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. We're good though. We're good though. And that is how you play Assassin's Creed Mirage like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. All right. Here we Welcome. go. Welcome. Finally, for real this time. All right, for real this time. We're actually going to get the trophy. This was arguably like grindier than like the normal collectibles, but here we go. Thank you, tools of the trade. Fully upgrade all tools, that felt good. So now I'm pretty sure I just have one more skill to unlock and then a bunch of miscellaneous stuff and then we will be done. Well, I think I'm gonna get a trophy here for this. Yeah, I'm 100% gonna get a trophy here for this. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I completely forgot that this was even a thing. Unstoppable, there it is. It's for doing five at one time. It is pretty sick, I can't lie. One of the coolest things they added, I think. I would like to take this moment to point out that if you're one of those people that complains about realism in Assassin's Creed, you're a weirdo. You're playing as an assassin from hundreds of years ago through the eyes of one of their descendants in the present day that's hooked up to a machine that allows them to see the memories of their ancestors due to generational memory. All while participating in a secret war between two organizations that nobody's ever heard of, but they're basically behind every single historical event in the history of mankind. Oh, and these two organizations are fighting for control over this technology called the Pieces of Eden, created by an ancient group of beings called the Isu, who also created humans themselves. But yeah, man, jumping off a tower and landing in a box of hay is too far-fetched. The next trophy I went for was this one, for assassinating 10 guards while blending in with the crowd. To do this, I paid merchant groups to help me out, which actually resulted in another trophy I needed. There's that one, okay. Patron of Industry. Patron of industry. I just said Patron, bro. <laughs> I don't even drink like that. Gotta be getting close, man. This is at least like seven or eight, I think. Find me. 
That was it. That was it. Thank God. Blade in the crowd. Assassinate 10 guards while blending with the crowd. Yeah, I wasn't doing that like throughout my playthrough, so I had to do all of them at once. So that, that took a hot minute, but it's done. It's all that matters. It's done. Thank God. This is it. What we've all been waiting for. Self-improvement. Oh my goodness. Unlock all skills. Thank you goodness and that just leaves us with three trophies left one of those is going to be very very hard wait what <laughs> 19 more that's right I had to tear down scaffoldings, 20 of them, which kind of sucks because I don't think I tore down one through my entire 20 hours playing this game so far. But on the bright side, this might be the first Assassin's Creed mission that doesn't involve killing anybody. This has to be close to the last one. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think he's okay. He'll be fine. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wow. Wasn't that poetic? All right. Hide in here for a second. And now that that trophy's out of the way, it's time for the finale after I hide in this little box. All right, so there's only two trophies left standing between us and the platinum. And that is Eagle's Will, survive 10 minutes in open conflict. And then the Shadow and the Flame, feed a Shakira in combat. Shakira, Shakira. Oh boy, when you dance like that, you make a woman go mad. I'm sorry, not that type of Shakira. So I went and found a large group of enemies and started the 10 minute timer. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna run in here. We're just gonna take uh, Dave here, my boy Dave. We're gonna assassinate him. And then we're going to just stay. We're pretty much gonna run around in circles for 10 minutes. That's what we're gonna do. But things got a little tricky when the Shakira showed up, when I was going to try and save him for last. But regardless, we did what we had to do by any means necessary. Oh, I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. I got him. The shadow in the flame. I got it. I got it. All right. Oh, no. But then I, that messed up my 10 minute thing, though, I think. That definitely messed up my 10 minutes. Yeah. You need that explanation point to stay red for the entirety of the 10 minutes. Dang. So I restarted the timer, and what came next was 10 minutes of stellar, exciting, graceful Assassin's Creed gameplay. <laughs> Should I actually like start fighting now or? There it goes, Eagles will, Eagles will, Eagles will. Platinum. Here we go. Master of his fate, let's go. Pain, earn every trophy. Overall, I think I'd give Mirage maybe like a seven out of 10. Really easy platinum, really fun game. I do like that they went back to all the stealth stuff and it wasn't so like, massive open world rpg like odyssey or valhalla i have some complaints here and there mostly to do with the combat and the story but i mean hey what are you gonna do overall pretty good game i enjoyed it fun platinum if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new we're gonna be platinuming a souls game every hundred thousand subscribers so looking forward to that and if you want to see me unlock a platinum that was a lot more challenging than this one be sure to click on this video next